All right, check one, two, three. Check, check one, two, three. All right, three, two, and one. What up, y'all? It's your boy Juggle972 back here. I'm here with uh, Misunderstood. How you doing? And we are here on the final episode, Final Fantasy VI. It's been a grind. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. No bullshit. <sighs> this is it, y'all. And here we go. There's that creepy ass music, too. Real creepy music, too. Welcome, friends. <laughs> there he is. The first time you see him since the World of Destruction. I knew you'd make it here, so I prepared some suitable entertainment for you. <laughs> How long are you going to let this destruction continue? I tapped into the ultimate power. Observe. Such magnificent power, you were like insects to me. I will exterminate everyone and everything. That's, uh, pretty powerful. Of course they will. They're always gonna keep rebuilding. Then I will destroy those too. Why do people continue to build re- Blah, damn, I cannot read for some reason. <laughs> People cling to life whenever they know they can't live forever. Think of how meaningless each of your lives is. It's not the net result of one's life that's important. It's the day-to-day -day concerns, the personal victories, and the celebration of life and love. There's a lot of real truth behind these uh, words. Mm -hmm. It's enough that people are able to experience the joy that each day can bring. And I have you for your joy in this nearly dead world of ours? Yes. Okay. I know what love is. And I've learned to celebrate life and living. My family lives on inside me. I know what friendship is and family. It is my dream to build a kingdom which I can guarantee freedom and dignity. I have come to experience a new the love of my brother. I've met someone who can accept me for what I am. I have a special granddaughter. And I have a brave grandpa who will stand by me through it all. <laughs> friends and ship, my friends airship and their love. Yeah, my friends here. <laughs> As did a poor attempt to try to voice everybody. Hmm, this is sickening. You sound like chapters from a self-help booklet. Prepare yourself. Now I know for my next trick, I will make you all disappear. Ladies and gentlemen, the light of judgment. I command the greatest power in the universe. You are all helpless before me. Uh oh. You know, this tower is not really a tower. It's more of a monument of death. I will destroy everything and create a monument of non-existence. Well, to non-existence. Well, who's going to be there to enjoy it if there's nobody there? No, I will hunt them down. I will destroy it all. Destroy, destroy. A little crazy, isn't he? We will not allow you to harm an other living thing. Another living thing. <laughs> but what is this? What but is destruction if no precious lives are lost? Oh, here we go. All right, everybody. 
This is what we prep for. It's over, Kafka. Okay, what you're looking at is the order in which people will fight and die. Or more like fall, if you will. We've got all 12 characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everybody who I will survive with. Because I can tell you this right now. If the first four uh, fall in battle and then we move up, then the next ones will take their place. So, I'm going to try to do this accordingly. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 and boom. Because there's four parts to this fight. The first part, well, correction, the first three parts <laughs> are the Statue of the Gods. Four epic parts. Here we go. I need to say this little special prayer. Uh-huh. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy seems to come here on earth, as it is in heaven, and the rest shall stay. But as for you, Kefka, you shall burn in hell. Hell, yeah. Dude, that is the most metal prayer I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, now we're taking on Visage, which is this Culex looking boss monster that you see. Unless you've uh, played a Super Mario RPG, mm -hmm. you recognize who Culex is. He kind of looks like this uh, enemy that you're uh, looking at right now. Just the torso and the hands. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep spamming everything that we got. Oh yeah, there's beautiful music too. Gonna bum rush everybody. Oh yeah, there we go. Kick his ass, sea bass. Go ahead, sea bass. Okay, we're gonna use life. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to cast life three on everybody. That way, if they go down. We revive. In other words, it's re-raise. Alrighty. Okay, we got one arm down. I've got Terra with a gem box. And I'm gonna use Runic. That way... <laughs> I'm gonna drill him. <laughs> boom, boom. There we go. And we're going to use a Mega Elixir because if we use um, uh, any healing magic or any kind of magic whatsoever with Runic on, she'll absorb it. Then a bum rush again. God, God, you know, if, if we actually heard this on the symphony that we went to. I, I envy anybody right now, or correction, I'm jealous of everybody who's heard Dancing Mad live, the symphonic by uh, uh, Distant Worlds. Yes. Because I can tell you this right now, though, that is probably one of my most favorites. And I do mean my most favorite uh, live orchestrated uh, Final Fantasy covers. Okay, we're gonna... I need a vanilla Coke for this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. And that's part one down. This is actually cheering me up. I had a, I had a rough day at work. Yeah. And uh, this is actually making me feel better. Alrighty, let's see what we got. The tiger, tools, and I, I, f I don't remember everyone's name on here, so forgive me. But these I are going to be the... Um, I think there's four. Yeah, there's four. One of them is actually a machine, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Now, they also cast status effects on you, too. I, I want to say there's like a big-ass tiger face on the... Yeah, that's the tiger. The tiger is the uh, more physical of the all. Actually, the, okay, uh, so there's six. Not really. Mm -hmm. Hang on, let's look at this. One, two, three. Yeah, there's four. Okay, because I see somebody... Let's see, hang on. I need to remedy everything real quick. Yep. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to cast life three on everybody. Oh, yeah. Then there's that. Oh, damn it. Yeah, Should've... you cannot take this lightly whatsoever. 
And we can't even can't even get mad. We can't even get mad at this point. No, we should be prepared. Okay. Edgar, you gonna bring you up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, shit. I haven't even had the opportunity to attack yet. So here's what I'm gonna do. That's saying a lot. You're not doing too bad though if you got me off guard like that. Uh -oh. Oops. Oh shit. Hang on. Oh yeah, and then there's that. Hang on, hang on. Where's my remedies at? But first, I'm gonna mega elixir everybody just to be on the safe. You know what? We're good. I'm gonna remedy. Here we go. Now it's time to go on the offensive. Okay. I'm gonna start drilling. Thankfully, that magic attack does not do a lot of damage. I know, right? The Cast life three and everybody. Oh, there you go. That, that saving's all right. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. There he goes with the offensive magic too. It really sucks. It really sucks though that um that the enemies aren't really listed. If that makes sense. They don't have the uh, enemies' names on here. Then again, though, if I remember the beast area correctly, the one thing I do remember is like it would not uh, really fit fit the attacks box. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ultima and Ultima. Now, this part right here, though, out of the uh, Statue of the Gonzo is probably the more difficult, though, because even though it's 4 on 4, a few of these actually have uh, multi attacks. Right. Although, not very uh, strong physically. Oh, she's poisoned, fuck. Though, we're okay. Yeah. We'll be all right. Matter of fact, see if I can keep bum rushing him too. With this fight, though, I do remember I do remember um, physical attacks having to be the uh, uh, the key point, though, and trying to stay healthy too. Status right. effects healthy too. And we're gonna save on the morph. <gasps> One down. Okay, that's a reflect. Hang on, let me see if I can dispel that. Where's it at? There it is. <gasps> Ten hits. Oh. Oh, that's... Fuck, that's not even cool. That's not gonna be bad, actually. It's actually very weak. Yeah. Compared to, uh, Saban. Oh yeah, we hit a lot harder than that. Oh, well, was... I heard another... Yeah, that was its final attack. We're gonna keep hasting real quick. Keep the speed going. Gonna heal everybody and we're gonna finish this. <laughs> That's cute. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight strikes. Nine strikes. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we're good. Oh, our cells is fine. Yeah, this part has always been a little bit more of the uh, the challenge, though. Like I said, though, you know, three on four with so many different ways to attack. One with status, one with magic, one with physical attacks. Yeah. Let's see if we can pummel them. Ooh. Hmm. What was that? Oh yeah, now it's gonna start using gravity-based attacks. Start having it by the uh, fraction. You messed. You're not messed up, eh, Aaron? Oh! Oh, shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> Live three, everybody. Okay, here we go. Near. F er almost near fatal. Man, some people just want to see the world burn. Yeah. I can't lose Saban. I know that for a fact. Yeah. Bring Saban back. 
give him life three. Yeah. Mute. Really? Cunt. You piece of shit. Okay. Got a phoenix down. Okay. Got a life three, your brother? Get on up, brother. Alright. We're not taking this anymore. We're not gonna take okay. it. Now, Rasp, that damages your magic, if you remember. Yeah. He's dispelling my magic. That's all he's doing. He dispelled my haste. Oh. Well, you know what? This part's done. Now, part three. The lady, and I forget what this is. Now, the lady, I forget the other enemy's name, but the girl, she absorbs all magic elemental attacks. But if I had Locke with me, I could steal a Ragnarok. Fortunately, I don't. Oh, there it goes, Whirlwind. Probably one of my favorite parts. In Dancing Mad, yes. Yes. And I'm gonna, let's see. Um, paste it up again. I'm gonna attack the girl. I know that sounds really bad though, but mm -hmm. she's the, uh. She's no ordinary lady. <laughs> absolutely not. One. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Let's see. Using white wind. Alrighty. Looks like I'm gonna have to drill it. Alrighty. Two, three, four, five. You know what? Let me unsilence her real quick. Oh, and that's a uh, meltdown, by the way. Oh, that's boy. the that is the translation. Not Merton. It's meltdown. Echo screen it. Keep everybody healthy. Can't take any risks. Get rid of the girl. <laughs> Gonna cast life through on everybody. Oh yeah, she put her to sleep. The Down girl she is goes. Gone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cast life through in everybody. Two good attackers, two strong magic healers. Oh yeah. There he goes with whirlwind. Oh. <laughs> He's okay. Heal. And Ultima. That's the meat of it. And we're saving the potatoes for Kefka. Oh there we yeah. Go. Ultima. Here we go. Such beautiful music. Oh, yes. Very... Oh, fuck. Yeah, and then there's that. Do we really have to go through that again? Yeah, I condemn. It's basically death sentence. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, statues are a big fan of meteors. Yeah. They really are. Calmness. Huh? Not cool. That is not yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that. Oh. Oh, well, by Celis. Celis found the uh, line of duty. <sighs> Damn, I liked her too. Yeah, we really needed her as well. Thankfully, Kefka does not absorb any kind of magic, really. Mm -hmm. Cool part is, though, they come in with full power. Except for the people who battled. You know my previous adventure that I did? We killed a one-winged angel. Now it's time to fight a god. Life, dreams, hope. Where did they come from? 
And where are they headed? These things... I am going to destroy. Okay, let's not fool around here. It gets dangerous. Probably my absolute favorite part. Hell yeah, man. Is the final fight. Oh yeah, then there's this. Him using Fallen One? Mm-hmm. <gasps> yep. Not cool. What a way to start the fight, yeah. He's a prick, isn't he? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a bit of a prick. Kafka's a piece of shit. Okay, we're gonna... Then we're gonna haste everybody. Seth Proth is a very nice guy compared to Kafka. Really is. <laughs> <laughs> like, if there was a death battle between Kafka and Seth Proth, I'd have to give it to Kafka. You really think so? I really think. If, if Kafka is, cap is capable of destroying... Of causing an apocalypse... Then... That, 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 that's a really powerful guy. Well, here's the thing, though. So is Sephiroth. Yeah, I'm He's, not. I'm not he, taking anything away from Sephiroth by any means, but. No, no, I hear that. But my thing is, though, Sephiroth has the ability to uh, summon Meteor with uh, the Black Materia, right? Right. Can't. Oh, the end becomes Beyond Chaos. This is a uh, Chaos Wing. We need to be uh, fully healed for this. Here, let's try to beat him to the offensive punch real quick. Two Ultimas. But you were Come saying, on, what do you got? What do you got? But what you were saying about Kafka or Sephiroth? Sephiroth has the ability to cause an apocalypse, too. Yes, he does. The only thing is, though, they need it wholly in order to prevent it. Mm-hmm. Or Kafka. Here, let's see what we got. Whoa! He ain't got nothing. What a walk in the park. One person fell. You know what's really funny about this, too? Save for Sephiroth. Vanishes just like this. The only other thing about it is, Sephiroth survived. He was still alive in the live stream. Mm -hmm. So, technically, when you think about it, I think Sephiroth may be a little bit more resourceful. I don't know. Who would win in a death battle? Well, it took one person to beat Sephiroth. It, it takes... A plethora of people to, to beat Kafka. Very true. And if it takes a plethora of people, that is a strong motherfucker in my opinion. Not only that, the failed clone of him beat him. In the live stream. Mm -hmm. It's breaking up. No time to lose. Airship's just ahead. Time to get up out of here. The cool part is, I didn't even have to transform. She Wait, use... she's she's alive! Yeah, she's using what's left over her magic. And there goes all the rest of the magicite. And it's vanishing. Whatever power she has left, magic is disappearing from the world. The Espers, they no longer exist. You mean Terra too? <gasps> well, we don't know that yet. I can lead you out with my last ounce of strength. Okay, this part right here, I really enjoyed. It's a little, um... It's the credit scenes, but... It shows, uh, in black and white, the little escape. Mm-hmm. This is definitely, like, one of the best, uh, endings of the Final Fantasy. In yes. the whole series. And if I uh, understand this correctly, this is one of the longest endings in the series, too. It's kind of like Act Razor. Yeah. The only difference is you don't revisit everywhere. Yeah. And I believe we heard this tune uh, when we went to go see Distant Worlds last year. Yes, we did. Yeah. We also heard the opera, uh, Aria de Mizzle. Yes. That was beautiful. Yeah, we we mentioned that in the pre in in one of the episodes. It was. Sayon as Sayon Garamond. What was so cool about it, though, was the fact we also got to hear a little med, a uh, little medley of other characters from Final Fantasy VI. Mm -hmm. And I think I popped the most. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> they can handle the switch. <laughs> hate machines. 
<laughs> Bye, can you help me out, really? But the thing that I loved about it the most, though, is whenever they played Locke's theme. Mm hmm. You just have to show technology who's boss. Did they play? I think they played Edgar's as well. They played Edgar's. They played, um, Cyan's. They played, uh, oh, Setzer. Gibiani. That sounds Italian. Yeah. I think Setzer's was one that they played too. Uh, they played the Chocobo theme. Yeah, all versions of the Chocobo theme. <laughs> BDPD, it's our victory! What? What is he, Two Face now? <laughs> Let's go that way. Sometimes in life you just have to feel your way through a situation. Fuck Daryl. you! <laughs> Daryl, I'm starting to sound just like you. Edgar as Edgar Roni Figaro Sabin as Sabin Rene Figaro <laughs> and I, I didn't turn to my back on my kingdom, big brother. I need to be a better king. I train hard knowing that I may have to help you one day. Now I don't know why I have all these stupid muscles. <laughs> <laughs> That's love. Tangible love, ladies and gentlemen. That is sibling. Just like right now. Yes. Siblings who play together stay together forever. Yes. Because family is forever. Yes. And Mog as Mog. Mm-hmm. Now here's another thing you also gotta know too. In the world of Ruin, if you don't recruit any of your characters, You'll see their face, and you'll just see the the background just kind of scrolling. Yeah. And that's the assumption that they've died. Mm-hmm. If you didn't find them in that location, I yeah. guess, right? And then, then they're I dead. I think so. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> What's going on, dude? <laughs> there! Watch the hair! Edgar. Umaro as Umaro. Tor. <laughs> I mean Umaro. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. One of two secret characters. The other one was Gogo. -Go. I'm really sorry I didn't get a chance to really use him a little more, because Gogo is amazing. More open. <laughs> Look at him. He's a beast. He's a beast. Unknown as Gogo. -Go. You know what's funny about Gogo -Go is like. We don't know if he's male or female either. Mm-hmm. So it's it. Oh. Uh... Now here's the thing. Gogo -Go was in your party. But for some reason, it shows him as dead. That's weird. Because you saw that I had Gogo -Go in my party, right? I think so, yeah. Oh no, that's right. And the data that I, um... That I lost. Mm -hmm. It um, lost uh, my recruitment of him too. At least I think it did. Maybe. Uh... Gal as Gal, the mm -hmm. feral child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gal find shortcut. I'll find shortcut. Good boy. Hey! Uh oh. 
Edgar's just sitting there like... Very eccentric young man, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Lock as... Lock Cole. Sell as... as sell as share. Drop the bandana. Floor's about to break apart. That is love, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Mm -hmm. Never let go! That's love. You almost hate it trying to pick up that silly trinket. Or trinket. The band Look, go! That was, that was your bandana, dumbass. <laughs> hey, she treasured. She treasured that. Mm-hmm. Tara as none other than the protagonist, Tara Branford. Our half human, half Esper. You know what's really ironic about this? Is this is one of the research uh, facilities... Oh wait, Tara, we must part now. We Esters will disappear from this world forever. But if the human part of you is very strongly attached to something or someone, you will probably be able to remain in this world as a human being. This is one of the little research facilities uh, from the part of the game. Mm -hmm. that, um, that was also on Kefka's Tower too, Where all the Aspers were being held. Realm Arony. I think if you win as Gogo, I think Gogo actually got trapped in the facility. Actually, no he doesn't. Mm -hmm. There's a little switch that they have to... That, uh, him and Locke try to get together. Mm -hmm. They gotta hit at the same time. They gotta get... Two switches and then another uh, pair of switches. Mm -hmm. And since he's a mimic, he perfectly mimics uh, Locke's uh, movements. Oh. It's a really cool scene. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just once, I'd really like to do a portrait of you on a canvas of. Hey, art is everything. Yeah. And shadow as. Shadow. What's interesting about Shadow is the fact that you really don't know who he really is. It's hinted that that's Realm's father. Really? Yep. He's from Thamasa. And a scepter. Get going! Stay well. Barham, I'm going to stop running. I'm going to begin all over again. No. Strago as the grandfather of Realm, Strago Magus. Hmm. We know a guy named Magus. <laughs> Do we now? <laughs> he tried to summon Lavos and Chrono Trigger. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> can't take the youth out of the old man, can you? No, you can't. <laughs> well, so that's the thing, eh? Yeah, gotcha! <laughs> and you. How about this? He's talking about you, the viewers. Especially everybody out there who watched the uh, the two episodes of uh, Star Fox 2 that me and Amanda did. Mm -hmm. Well, misunderstood. 
By the way, I'm, I might as well drop the formalities. I'm Carlos, that's Amanda. Hi. Amanda, not Amanda, or okay. not Amando. Or Amander. Der. The last piece of the magicite. The meme is understood. Uh, we've already done two episodes, which, by the way, episode three is en route. Mm hmm. This has had to come first, though, because I had this planned out for a good while. But unfortunately, though, you know, life got in the way, so mm. did work. Yeah. Her strength is going. Oh, no. She did! Thought I heard a thud. Funny that you see the uh, earth is green now. Yeah, Grass sky's is green. blue. Sky's blue. Hmm. And Daryl had a baby. Well, Katarin, I mean. Falcon is still in peace. For a while longer. Just a little longer. Where's Tara? Tara! Well, what do you know? She landed on the uh, Falcon. I definitely would have loved to play it in After Years for Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. World's past the ship. Because, you know, Final Fantasy IV had the After Years. Producer, Hironobu Sakaguchi. Sorry about the screen there. Because, you know, I will say this, Retron 5 is considered an emulator. Not an actual console. Mm-hmm. Ugh. It's a damn good emulator. Really is, too. So, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and say my thank yous to everybody. Um, Jabicho82, aka Javier, uh, sorry, sorry for my name, Javier Anibaro Zayala. Thank you very much for your uh, musical covers. Um, Malcolm Robinson for letting. All of us uh, players out there, though, uh, to use your music as well. You do really good stuff. Uh, Javier, by the way, you're awesome on the piano. I still think uh, your um, best is, is uh, Shadow's music from Chrono Trigger. Mm -hmm. Still the most beautiful thing I ever used. Uh, misunderstood, of course, you know, being the commentator with me. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you, the subscribers. Yes. Um, everybody out there who uh, watching. Uh, who watches this channel, even if there's like only 51 of you or 50,000 of you. I, I don't care. I just had fun doing this. It's, it's been a, bit a little bit of... Uh, sorry, what was I going to say? It's been a little bit of a frustrating playthrough, but at the same time, though, it's, you know, once again, another trip down memory lane. Um, I remembered why I love this game so much. It's still not Chrono Trigger, I'll tell you that. But, this game... Along with seven, Final Fantasy IV, uh, five, and a bunch of others that I can't name right off the top of my head right now. Um, you know, this holds a special place in my heart too, as I grew up as well. You know, a special place in my heart. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody out there who loved Final Fantasy VI or as we played it on the Super Nintendo, because let's face it, what we're really playing though is the SNES version or the American release of Final Fantasy III, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah. But I just, uh, this was a lot of fun, just doing this all over again. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the opera playthrough along with this, this entire, you know, this entire playthrough brought back really good memories of my birthday last year. Mm -hmm. um, it was so, so beautiful. The symphony, yeah, I brought back memories of the symphony too. Oh, tell me about it, yeah. I think, you know, after uh, going to uh, Distant Worlds last year, though, I think it's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this playthrough. Mm -hmm. You know, the only problem is I just had to 
keep it held back for a little while though. I had to keep uh, pushing it back because I was working so much. Remake Planner. Ted Translator Ted Woosley. The famous Ted Wo uh, Woosley. I wouldn't mind seeing her. Well, there's a PS1 version of Final Fantasy VI. It's more of a re-release. Mm -hmm. But still you know, really good. Really good, yeah. But I just hate the uh, load times so with um. But uh, if we're forgetting anybody, um, I really hope we're not forgetting anybody, but thank y'all all very much uh, for watching this playthrough. It's been a journey. It's been frustrating. It's been fun. Uh, just thank y'all. Every last one of y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we, we game just because we, we hold on to youth. We hold on to fun above all else because... You know, nobody ever really truly grows up though because in your heart if you're a gamer you're a gamer if you're a card player you're a card player if you're a board gamer you're a board gamer if you love it follow your heart because i'll tell you this right now that's the only way to stay true to yourself and me gamer for life super nintendo was um a big 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 part of my life growing up uh including the nes as well just i don't even know where i'm going with this i'm just kind of just rambling at this point <laughs> <laughs> Super Nintendo. I, you know, I, I love retro to now, and I love, um, I love bicycle cards, <laughs> <laughs> which explains my love for Setzer. Oh, I know, right? And um, I even like board games as well and card games. Big fan against uh, of uh, Card Against Humanity, uh, Exploding Kittens, and implode, Imploding Kittens as well. <laughs> Uh, God, what else? Uh, King of Tokyo and King of New York. Yeah, oh my God. Those expansions, by the way, kick ass. They kick major ass. Wouldn't mind uh, getting back into Dungeons and Dragons again either. D and D. I need to call up my friend Shannon. Yes. Which, which is, which uh, she was in maybe a, an episode or two in the Final Fantasy. Se oh, wait a minute. Yeah, she was in like the the last few episodes of Final Fantasy Seven. Mm-hmm. And there's the main thing to Final Fantasy. Hearing that live, that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Katarin has a baby. And Dwayne is a father again. Oh. I think it was the Falcon that passed over him. Mm -hmm. And Terra waves. <laughs> Poor Mo Mog. Mm -hmm. Was it Poochie Poochie? And the world's being rebuilt. That's the house that burned down in uh, Thamasa. Is Edgar praying? Yeah, is he praying? Hmm? I think they're breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, there's life on the planet all over again. Mm -hmm. Would you look at that? Hey! <laughs> hey! Waving to everybody. And of course, the kingdom of Figaro in the desert. Terra takes herself front and center. Well, more like front and left at this point. Oh, she lets her hair down. That's a good feeling, too. And the birds are flying again. You don't get games like this anymore. You really don't. Nope, nope, nope. That's what kind of hurts me about certain games today. Oh, I know what you mean. If anything, I'm, I'm just waiting for that remake of Final Fantasy VII to come out. Yeah, I can't wait for that either. Part one, if you will. Because it, there's uh, supposedly going to be three parts for Final Fantasy VII. Just like there was three discs. Yep. 
But this time it's, prob it's probably going to be divided into three games. Yeah, well it's going to be the same game, just divided into three parts, really. Yeah. Can you uh, imagine Final Fantasy VI as a PS4 remake? I would play the shit out of it. Oh, yeah. Fastest ship in the world. And don't you gotta love Mode 7. <laughs> ah, that's the end, everybody. This is Juggalo972 with Misunderstood. Signing off. Much love, peace, and uh, we'll see you on the next journey. Thank y'all very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.